Welcome once again to Let's Play Thief Deadly Shadows with Frozen Foxy. Ah, looks like some bodies still left around here. Anyway, we still have that uh, tree sitting in our packs, and I, I think I would like to uh, give it to the pagans. Oops. There it is again. Yes, there it was. There it went, and it's gone. <laughs> Looking at nothing. And jumping too. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. All right. What was that? I don't know. Perhaps you should check it out somewhere where I'm not. All right. Up we go. Uh, down the street and. You wouldn't know it if you didn't look up, but there's a door. And with our climbing gloves, we have a way into that door. Into the door we go. Candles. Gold. Bracelets. Booze. Bed. Looks like a little thief's hideout or something. Ah, let's see what this note has to say. Well, yep. I see more in the day than I reckon most folks ever do. Like when I was getting that mackerel, but nobody believed what came out of its belly. Nobody believes old Ellie. Guess they think the salt air shriveled my thinking cap. Well, maybe it did. Reminds me of that time I was working my scrimshaw when that metal whale came floating by. Made a sound I won't never forget. There was even words on the side of it. Acetus amicus. You don't forget a thing like that. Breathe fire, too. So scared I nearly whittled my thumb off. For those of you who haven't played it, in Thief 2 The Metal Age, there was a submarine named Cetus Amicus. Hmm. Anyway, let's get a move on. Jump on over or not. There we go. And over into the pagan area to get a gas arrow. Yes, these climbing gloves are great for getting gas arrows. Hey, how's it going, pagans? I have a little treat for you. Let's say a uh, little tree. Uh, who should I uh, give this to? Huh? Ah, a nifty little fountain. Oh, some gold. I'm tempted. Bees well? Bees that? Not hey, intruder! What uh, bees uh, you doing in here? Uh, uh, I, I was just um, reading this note. Juniper, them sapling tree bees held by the city fools on the docks. Now we just needering a plan to get see past them guards, and soon... Diane bees making a place readies for them sapperling er uh, saplinger to grow. A shaman hyssop. Nows. Uh, don't don't attack me. No 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 no. I I'm being nice. There is to run into. Uh, please, please, just calm down. City head Garrett thinks he comes here. Gets you lost. Yes, yes, uh, I'll get lost. Just just a moment. I I have something for you you um pagany types. I suppose you people don't really want what I have to offer. But what in the hell is that sticking out of your belly? 
people are weird. Anyway. Yes, yes, you scared me off. So, this little green patch is where we plant the tree. There. Now, let's see. Aha! Neutral. Well, we're not quite high enough um, to actually be in this place. So, uh, I guess I should um, get back out of here again. You'll also notice that our hammer status is um, completely full. The reason for that is um, we just killed a bunch of zombies. And uh, zombies are things that the hammers don't like. And so we get plenty of oh, a fire. Plenty of uh, status. So they love us now. Now we... Uh, ah, here we are. This little cornerstone right here is what uh, the pagans were talking about to shoot moss arrows into. So um, let's get out a moss arrow. Tap it. And you'll notice it's now covered by uh, a cornerstone thing. Anyways, that means our status has changed. So if we check our faction, we should see... Ah, we're allied now. Perfect. Now, uh, if we just find a couple more of those cornerstones, we can uh, completely fill our alliance bar. Hmm. Oh boy, I don't want that guy to see me. Someone there. No, 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 nothing here at all. Indeed. Hells, bells. Uh, wait there. I'll be right back with some help. Yes, you, you go get help. Um, I'll go hide over here. Ah, help me. another cornerstone. Help, help you because you saw somebody. That's kind of silly. Why would it really matter if you saw somebody? And down you go. Because you get in the way. Let's put you over in this corner where no one will find you. Aha, another rust mite. But we are fully allied, so there's no need to shoot that. However, right here, this is the boat to go to Captain Moira's. Yes, let's visit Moira. The lead from the abysmal gale has brought me here, to the captain's seaside mansion. Well, former captain. Yes. Omoira and most of his Dead crew captain. didn't survive their final voyage. Undead but luckily captain. for me, the ship's manifest did. It's a good it ship's manifest. It talked about a golden slab, mm, which slabs. sounds like the compendium of reproach compendium. the keepers have been looking for. The log said Captain Moira brought it home for safekeeping. I doubt he knew what he had. Probably, Probably not. just wanted it for the gold. Yep. My stolen rowboat got me here in one piece. Now I just have to find and steal the compendium. That'll be easy. There's no way to know how many of the captain's loyal men are guarding the place, but the household will probably be in an uproar over the captain's death. Huh. With luck, no one will notice me sneaking around. Yes. The widow Moira might know where her late husband kept his treasures. It's very possible. Maybe I'll start by paying her a little visit. Yes, indeed. Off to change the difficulty to expert one more time. And if we check out our gear, we have just filled the final slot by uh, visiting that last boat. So, now we have a full collection of items. Uh, sooner or later we need to fill these flash bombs up again, because I really, really loathe the undead. They are the... Uh, I would suppose the most difficult enemy um, that we're coming up against. Uh, I, I wouldn't like to come up against an undead without having a flash bomb or two. Or twenty. Twenty is good. Yes. Alright. Let's go see 
Moira's mansion.